Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Davis. The Minnesota Vikings are just one win away from bringing it home, and fans are ready for another miracle. Yeah, there they are in Philly. These tailgaters made the trip from the land of 10,000 lakes to the city of brotherly love. The Vikings are about to take on the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game. It just got started. Now, if the Vikings come out with a win, it will be historic. They would become the first team to ever play in a Super Bowl on home turf. Whoever wins this game will take on the New England Patriots during the Minnesota Super Bowl. We found some diehard Vikings fans outside the stadium in Philly who weren't going to let anything stop them from watching watching this game in person. I drove like 20 hours to be here, right from Eden Prairie. Um, and it's my first away game, and it's the championship game, to be in the Super Bowl at Minnesota. And everyone's really been nice so far. I mean, it's been awesome. We got a lot of great Viking fans. We got great Eagle fans. Everyone's here for a good time to watch a good football game. That's all that matters. This is a religious experience, let me tell you. First, we had the Minneapolis Miracle. We have the purple prayer, and we're going to bring it home. I love it. We do hope so. All across Minnesota, watch parties are underway, packed with anxious and excited fans. Right in the heart of downtown Minneapolis, Randall's Restaurant and Bar is filled with faithful purple and gold fans. And that is where our Jeff Wagner joins us tonight. And Jeff, how's the energy in there right now? Oh, as you can imagine, the game just got started, so the energy has risen. As you said, there's a mixture of excitement, maybe a little bit of an anxiety. Of course, there's always going to be hope, and this place is also beaming with confidence. Now, in just the last few minutes, we heard someone start a skull chant with a drum. Another person led the Vikings fight song, and pretty much any time you saw someone who plays for the Vikings on TV, the place started cheering. So you can imagine what it's going to be like with the game going. All the tables are filled behind me. The bar is two to three people deep. Deep all the way and it's just gonna be so loud in here like it was last week when we were here for that famous Minneapolis miracle the place just exploded when that play happened high fives hugs and of course chance of skull but that game was just to make it to the NFC Championship a trip to the Super Bowl in their home stadium is now on the line for the Vikings so that means the tension in here during tonight's game is likely to be even higher. And if the fans were living and dying with each play last week, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like as this game goes on. I mean, listen to that. That's just for a first down. That's a simple play of moving the ball downfield, but you will probably hear that for every single play here at Randall's. All right. It's going to be fun and exhausting, I'm sure. Thank you, Jeff. Well, Mark Rosen and Jason DeRosha are in Philadelphia for the big game. They will be joining us live tonight at 10. Be sure to join us and stay with us for continuing coverage uh, online and in our newscasts.